Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. I cannot believe that we are almost heading into September, which means the festive season is approaching pretty fast, starting with Ganesh Chaturthi, which is just in a couple weeks. And for this year, so many of you had requested a very traditional Maharashtrian look. So here it is. It's a very simple look, very easy to pull off, but it looks very glamorous. I hope you enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's get started. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I post new videos every week and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be informed every time I post a new update or a video. I'm starting off with the NYX Photo Finish Primer. This is a silicone based primer, so it's going to fill in all those pores and those fine lines and it'll smoothen out my skin before I apply the foundation that's coming up next. For this look, I want my foundation to look very natural, but I want it to be very long lasting. And for that, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in 475, which is sun beige. And I'm going to be applying it with a damp beauty sponge. For a very mild contour, I'm going to be using a cream contour so I can later tone it down using some powder. And for that, I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Call Me Maple. You can use any cream contour that's at least two shades deeper than your skin tone. It can be a concealer, it can be a foundation or a cream contour. To blend it out, I'm using a flat kabuki brush. I've realized when I use cream products, the easiest way to blend it out is to use a synthetic brush as opposed to a sponge. To highlight the high points of my face as well as to conceal any dark circles and patches, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in 145 which is warm beige. Although this concealer looks creamy, it dries very quickly so I'm going to work in small sections. So this is how I'm going to look for Ganesh Chaturthi this year. The exact makeup, hair, jewelry, sari, everything is going to be the same and you guys got to see it even before the festival is here. And I'll be posting all those pictures on social media because I plan to invite quite a few people this time. So make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook if you're not already following me there. All those links are in the description box below. Also, I'd love to know what you guys are doing. Are you celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi? What other festivals are you celebrating? Let me know everything in the comment section below. I'm quickly setting my entire face with the NYC loose powder before I move on to my eye makeup. For my brows, I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brows from Benefit Cosmetics. This has a very fine tip, so it's very easy to fill in just the sparse areas, which is what I'm going to be doing. And the shade is 4.5, which is lighter than my brows. And I want to keep it that way because I don't want it to look too harsh. For my eyes, I wanted to keep it very universal so you can wear it with any outfit. So I'm doing a soft brown smoky eyes. From the Hip Dot Boss palette, I'm first taking the soft brown shade called Believe. With the Carity E31 blending brush, I'm going to blend this out in the outer corner as well as the crease, softening up everything. So this is going to be my transition shade. With the same brush, I'm taking Motivation, which is a tad deeper than the first shade that I used. And I'm going to use this to further deepen the outer corner as well as the crease. And now I'm going to be using the same eyeshadow with a flat shader brush to fill in my lids. You can use any flat shader brush that you have. You can also apply it with your finger. The one that I'm using is from Inno Mineral Cosmetics. And again, using the same eyeshadow in my lower lash line to smoke it out, I'm going to be using a bullet pencil brush. Mm -hmm. 
in my waterline i'm using a black eye pencil from milani you can use a black eye pencil you can use a kajal you can use a gel liner all of them work equally good and before I attach false lashes, I'm going to be prepping my natural lashes by applying a coat of mascara. This is the highly rated mascara from Milani. And for lashes, I'm using my ride or die. This is Brazen from Black Label. And here is the finished eye look and I can't tell you how many parties I wear this eye look to. It is so simple and so universal like I mentioned initially. It goes with any outfit. For blush, I'm going to be using the Pure 4-in-1 Blush Book. I'm using this shade and I'm going to be applying this on the highest points of my cheeks because I feel like that lifts the cheeks as opposed to applying it on the apples of the cheeks which makes it look chubbier. To highlight, I'm trying out this new product from Physicians Formula. This is the Rosé All Day Highlighter in Petal Glow. It smells really good. It smells almost like their moisturizers. If you've smelled the Rosé All Day moisturizers, you know that it smells like rose petals. It's beautiful. This is a very mild highlighter. It looks very natural, not over the top. And I'm going to be using this on the high points of my face. Now, because I'm going with a sari which has a red border, I decided to do a red lip. You can do whatever your outfit color is or you can also do nude which is more universal. That's the nice thing about a brown smoky eye. It goes with any lipstick and any outfit. And the lipstick that I'm using is Missy and Fierce from Wet n Wild. I got my jewelry and the nut and the bindi and the sari on and here is the final look. Now I'm wearing a round bindi because I cater to everybody and I want everybody to be able to pull off this look. But if you can find a half moon bindi which is more traditional to Maharashtra, you can wear that too. That is so pretty. Yeah, so let me know how you like this look. And if you plan to recreate, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram especially. I would love to come by and see your recreation. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you're new here, I post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. For your convenience, I'm listing all the products that I used in today's video in the description box right below this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.